Okay, so I'm going to do right here another one for the neck. Looks good like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna raise this up again. get one right over here too. I'm just going to do it on this. Uh, this is the wrong resolution to be doing this at because it's just way too marked. It's got perfect edges and all that and that just doesn't look right. But you probably, we all probably have one there. Just like that. Oh, why do I have a feeling this thing's going to crash on me? Let me quick save it. Okay. So now that we're done with that, let's create the wrinkles here for the mouth. And the mouth is very peculiar. right here to smooth this guy out. So it just seems like the polygons on this one are just out of control right now. Way too edgy. Okay. We already had something that was going like this. that may be a little bit too thin maybe we need to make this bigger but a lot softer there you go I'm gonna hit X right here it's just not symmetrical Usually is a lot of criss crisscrossing in these areas. A very tiny little. This is why I think I needed more resolution in this area. Even more than what I have right now. You have a few major cut lines. that going to bring into this line style brush I'm going to bring 
one of my alphas that I've made previously. I don't think it's right here, so I'm just going to have to go get it. With comma, you're going to get your light box, which is either this button right here. I'm going to alphas, see alpha. And I have one right here that I made a while ago. And I like I like it because it creates a type of wrinkle that I really like. Let's see if there's another one that I want. Sometimes bringing this one works well. And when this happens, it, 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 it loads as a texture. All you gotta do is go into texture, I mean, select texture and make alpha. And there you go, there you have it. And make alpha. Okay, for now we're gonna let, we're gonna close this. Turn, turn, the, te turn the texture off. I'm going to go on to this one because that's what I want to do. I'm going to make it into a bigger size because this is a very small alpha. So it needs a big brush for this. Now, just so you guys know how to create, l l let's test it first. Let's see if it, it's doing what I need it to do. Yeah, there you go. I like that. And my intensity is way too much. I'm going to use this out brush size right over here, smaller. There you go. Quite a little bit bigger. And since I like this, I think it's working well. I'm going to make a brush out of that. So how you do that is under brush, you're going to clone. And you're going to save as. And it's going to take you to your brush, to your brushes to your startup brushes, brush presets and I am going to call it uh, line style brush 02 I'm going to leave it like that and what happens I still have the brush line 1 two, line one right over here and that changes and then we have Okay, this is one, this is one, this is two, no, 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 where's line style brush two? Oh, right over here, line style brush here is your two. Bring right over here. And what happens is that this is going to keep all of the. Uh, you don't want one in the middle. There you go. This is going to keep all of these things that I just did to this brush, like the the size of the um, smooth, you know, being smaller. It's going to keep that, so that's important. It's going to keep the style, uh, you know, it's going to carry on all of these changes that we did to it. Okay. So we have and sometimes if you go down in resolution you can do a little bit better job. using Damien standard 
No, see, Damien's standard creates too much. Of a fall off, and that sometimes is not what we what you want. I'm gonna bring that down. Size. At least it's not what I like. So maybe this tends to be deeper towards the inside. Surely you don't have to te tend to have those deep lines towards the very, very corners of the mouth. If we go into, if we raise it up once again, there you go. And we're going to go into our line style brush too. Obviously, we got to get that size up. For it to work. And the lips have this indentation. It's not as marked right over here, but it's definitely marked in the middle. Well, control C that. too strong. <laughs> I'm going to change this. These are all the little ones that come out. Um, lips are made out of tons of little wrinkles. The wrinkles are not always, like I said before, they're not always straight. They're not always softly curved. Sometimes they have sharp um, turns that account for all of that. Um, you can do this with textures. Uh, Na I remember Nathan was asking about that. Um, and you can. Um, I'd rather do them by hand. I think they ended up being more believable when you do it that way. More believability.
level of quality these. Oh, come on. Usually the top lines, uh, I mean the lines on the top lip do not go as high as the ones at the bottom lip. The ones in the bottom lip are a lot more marked. And that's something that I had to take care of. Uh, this ZBrush is acting very slow, you guys. Very slow. Making me nervous. Kind of get chunky. Okay, I think that's good. I'm not going to work on it anymore. Probably create a little bit more wrinkling out here. Small wrinkles, just to kind of like even it out. Uh, we usually don't tend to get many wrinkles out there unless we're smokers and old. But not young people. So, and by young I mean <laughs> before 60s. <laughs> Unless they smoke, obviously. If you smoke, then all bits are off with these wrinkles right over here. Good, good, good. I like that.
You guys just can see what I've been doing. Right there. Put a little bit more emphasis right here on these top ones. Sharpen them up. And again, remember where I told you they kind of they branch out. And sometimes they go back in creating these little cell looking things. Ah, that was not good. Sometimes they double like that. Sometimes they're stronger in some areas. In these areas, they kind of crisscross like that. Sometimes you just gotta smooth these ones out because they started to look a little too generic. like that and like this and sometimes putting some using alt to create some edges around it Makes a good, good line. Okay, quick save. One. It's acting a little slow. Okay, so and we are going to name this one uh, Wrinkles. And I'm going to create another one. Uh, again, we can keep adding wrinkles until the cows come home. <laughs> But uh, we're going to be here for hours and we don't have that much time. So next thing to do is to use our standard for detail. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use a different one. Let me see. Did I already loaded it? Um, you can use this one. Sometimes it works well. And you actually have to use... And, and it works with that... Uh, no, I don't like that. It's going to have to be in C sub. And you can tell that's how it works. Sometimes you can use uh, 
what I like to do first is use a different one. Uh, where is it at? Did I load it? No, nope, I didn't. Let me see if it's here. No, it's not here. Uh, coma to get two. Where is it at? This one works well sometimes. Let's create the uh, make alpha. Where's it at? Okay. This one works well sometimes too. Make alpha. I like this one sometimes also. Alpha. This one is re usually really good. This one is the W pores. And make alpha for that one. But usually this one's that come with ZBrush are really good, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Let me see, do are they loaded? No, they're actually not loaded. So I guess I'm gonna have to bring them in. Are they? No, twenty-three. No, I'm gonna have to bring them in. I thought they were loaded. They usually come loaded with ZBrush, but not in mine apparently. Okay, those two are pretty good. Okay. Let's get out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the spray. And let's bring stroke, which is going to bring that. Where is stroke? Stroke and modifiers. Now, these are the same things that are over here. Placement, scale, as you can see, they're, they're right over here. So placement, um, it, and it will tell you right here. This basically changes where it's placed. So let me show you real quick. Uh, let's let's make it obvious. Let's give it a nice intensity. That gets them together. And the further you go in here, the closer they are. So a placement of one tends to get them more spread out. The scale, the scale changes their size, so that's also good to keep the scale at a low. Um, usually, color intensity does not work. I think that doesn't work with this. But um, this, the color spray determines the maximum variance in color for colorized spray or color intensity spray strokes. This value is zero. All dots are drawn with the same color. So you know give it a little bit of variance in the flow it's obviously how much is going to come out, out of that nozzle you see the difference okay so usually i put a very low flow just like that will be good actually that's too low of a flow i wanted more even that's good and now what i do is usually tend to flatten it Where is it at? It's the intensity, a low in C intensity with a larger brush size. Just like that. Maybe we want a little bit of closer placement. And these guys are a little too big right now. I want to use this other one right now. This I'm just kidding. There you go. That's a good one. Okay, so now let's use symmetry. So we can get at least both sides. And let's just spray them good. And sometimes using a little bit of um, 
you know, using your alt brush works wonders to, you know, raise some of the bumps instead of um, pushing them in. Now I'm trying not to get in the middle right now. I just want to do the sides. And remember, this brush is going to grow with depending on how far you are or how far you zoom out. Always keep in mind that if you do sideways, it's gonna it's going to distort the, the 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 alpha. So you always want to do from the front. Remember that we have a lot less um, uh, geometry right up here in this area of the head, and that's why they look all soft, and not as sharp as you'd read right over here. And that's one of the problems with having. Now right here in the middle of the head, on the top of the head, I don't care if, if I have symmetry on. Maybe towards the back. Usually you'll have hair, so but let's take the symmetry off from here. And let's do the back. Just like that. Uh, let's see, I got a little too. There you go. Okay, I'm going to take symmetry off because I'm going to do the middle of the face. And yes, ZBrush comes also with a way of doing this automatically. I don't like it because it, it's just too even for me. I don't like the evenness of it. We gotta mask these lips because otherwise we're gonna get pores on them and that just gonna look weird. Okay. Actually let's do X for that. Okay, and X now. And let's do this. And, do it. and again, kind of have to be careful with the eyes because pores are a little different there. Let's let's back up and get that. I put a little bit too much on those eyes. Come on. There you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab mask pen, uh, X, grab this area, protect it, and protect the lips. Oh, he looks weird now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit less intensity. And let's go for it. Let's soften this up. Okay, so now that's a little soft and smoothed out. Now, come on, work with us. Okay, and right over here, the cheeks have stronger pores. area of the beard. A 
like I said, this is this is one of the ones that came, uh, one of the alphas that came with ZBrush. Um, it originally didn't. It was created by somebody's user, uh, whoever SWS. <laughs> But uh, it was so good that they actually incorporated it into ZBrush, so now it comes packed with it. And probably going to go into the neck. I'm not going any further than the neck. Um, it, I'm going to let you guys just kind of e extrapolate and just you'll know what to do with the rest of the body. Um, just going to do the head and I'm going to do a few things with the hands and you guys will go from there. There's no sense in dragging this for two hours or more um, just showing you something that is pretty much the same thing. Um, I had said to uh, Nathan and people who were in the class that day that um, we uh, our pores and the texture on our skin is different everywhere. It's different in the butt, it's different in the chest, it's different in the arms. So it's a good thing that it, it would be a good idea for you to look at, at your own skin texture and go from there. Now it's also a good idea, and I'm going to bring this um, modifiers for the brush, and I'm going to bring them back to one because I want this to be the same size and it would also a good idea to uh, smooth them out you don't want this so sharp so smooth 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 and th in the smooth obviously you can do with symmetry you don't have to do it asymmetri asymmetrically um, Frankly, I don't like to have pores that are too strong. Some people do. I don't. I think it looks more natural to have them a little, you know, doing them in layers. Um, and smooth them out in between. But that's just my, the way I do things. Well, that's a little too strong for that area. Completely a little the Took them out. Obliterated them. Ah. And I'm going to do something. I'm going to take the wrinkles out for now. I'm going to turn them off because I don't want to smooth them out. There you go. Come on. Okay. Now I'm going to. Let's go to layer right over here. Oh, it's taking forever doing anything right now. And let's smooth out the all of our pores. Apply them again. This is way too strong for this area. It's just completely taking them out. <laughs> so I'm just going to reduce the, the intensity of my smoothing brush because I don't want them completely out. There you go. I had to almost I had to recreate this, and now this just looks like popcorn now. I don't like that. Okay, and like I said, several layers of, of skin are usually a good idea. 
I can choose a different alpha. Uh, let's see. Sometimes this one works wonders. And I'm just going to use a new layer. I'm going to call this one small even pores. And I'm going to create another one. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, there you go. And the problem with these ones is that they tend to be very... I don't know, sometimes I don't like how that works out. Sometimes these ones are better just as drag racks for very specific places. I don't know if I like it. No. See, so I don't know. Let's try another one. About this one. Yeah. That one sometimes works very good. Right over here. No, but it works good with the crack racked. Very low intensity. There you go. I like that. It's all about subtlety here. And again, we use symmetry there, and you can see that that's just not great. And this one just creates. A different layer of pores that it's much better suited for that area. Oh, let's not do that. Got to keep that those lips covered. We want a little bit also of pores. Can they can be poreless? <laughs> Let's put a little bit of this on this one. This is a little bit better suited for the eyes, for the eye area. There you go, I like that. That's a good one for that. Sometimes this one works really well for the beard. Now I'm going to create a spray. Okay, the intensity. I'm going to bring this down. This, uh, let's go into the stroke. This. No, I mean, let's not do that. Uh, placement a little bit over here. 
That's much better. That is way too strong. There we go. Double. Oh, no, that's got it into the nose. <laughs> got to cover the nose for that. That's not going to work well. Let's cover the nose. X. In this area. No. Just the nose first. And do this area. That's too strong. Gotta go low. on let's cover the ears and the face and the forehead and let's create some double right over here not too much Unfortunately, we don't have enough geometry to support this. Oh, see how, what happens when you don't, don't take symmetry off? It just looks awful. So let's take symmetry off of this area. And let's do it just normally. Too strong. Come on, do it again. Area and this area. Okay. So now we're going to create imperfections. I'm going to quick save. see. We're done with that. Um, let's see, do we have symmetry on right now? That would be better because this is n does not happen in real ears. <laughs> so let's bring the intensity of this up. Ears do not have that kind of pores. <laughs> Actually, they're pretty plain when it comes to that. It's good. Okay, so let's bring that back to normal levels. Will this work in directional? 
No, I don't like that. Drag wrecked. X. Okay, use less intensity. And I know I'm creating wrinkles where I'm supposed to be creating pores, but I don't want to change, especially right now that it's taking forever to just change layers. I don't want to even have to deal with it. So. It's fine. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let's see, what else are we going to do? Okay, so we're now we're going to create imperfections. Let's create another layer. Some imperfections. Alpha 44 may be a good one. Let's see. Nope, didn't work. Ooh, oh, it's too low in intensity. And X. There it goes. There's a mole. We can spray it. And create a whole lot of different placements for it, all the way to one. In scale, the scale just scale variance. I think it's fine. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, you don't want that. So scale is good up right here. It's low, really low. That is still not spread enough for me. Let's see, I'm going bigger. Well, it too much strength, first of all. Those are way too big. No, and he's going to look like a frog with that. Okay, so let's use this one. Too much. Okay, it's a little better. Uh, let's get that scale on the way up. Let's see if and I put it all the way to one, it's going to create different ones. I have that flow really small. Lower intensity. There you go. That's good, just like that. I'm going to mask the lips. is going to crash on me. No, that's too much.
just like that. That can be sometimes too much. We're probably going to have to reduce the size of a lot of these things. And they're already there, so I'm going to leave them there, but probably going to have to reduce the size of it. Okay. Now I'm just going to use drag rect. Use it different. Let's see what happens if we use alpha forty one. Ah, that's way too small. if we use spray on that. Whoa. And it's all about layers again. And softening it, making it smooth, layers, smooth out, layers, smooth out. If you don't, there's a risk of make, making it look like it's made out of stone. And, we, and you really don't want that. different. I think it was 44. No, 44 was too smooth. 47. A little bit more intensity on that. Yeah. I think I am done with that. All those variations. Now I'm going to add. I'm going to stop this recording right over here. I may soften it up a little bit, reduce its intensity. Let's 
see where it ends. Uh, I think that's good. I think that's good. Maybe 0.75. Maybe 0.8. I still want to have something. Point nine. Yeah, that's good. That's good intensity right there. And let's turn on the wrinkles. There you go. So the head and the neck have been done. Again, it can use a lot more. There's always room to add more and more textures, but you got to be careful not again not to make it look like stone. Like it's made out of some sort of sandstone. That it, it's very easy to get to that point. So be careful when you do that. I am going to leave it at this. I'm going to quick save it real quick here. Okay, that was strange. <laughs> I don't think it's liking. Oh, it's gonna crash. Well, guys, this file crashed twice. It was so big, it was over six gigs. Um, or oh, it is still six, over six gigs. So I had to basically completely restart the computer and everything. Thank God I had saved. So I'm not missing anything. Thank goodness. So, anyway, let's move real quick here onto the hand um, and do a quick work on it. I had already created sort of a beginning. Oh, come on. Of course, because we we're in masking, not masking, uh, layers. Where's my layers? There you go. Um, we can do wrinkles. So let's just start on wrinkles right over here. And let's move this out. As you guys remember when I was working on this, and of course I'm going to have to reestablish my nails because they have been decimated by the Dynamesh process, unfortunately. But um, that's not what we're here for right now. I'm just going to teach you guys real quick um, how to do work on nails. I mean, on hands. So, oh lord. There you go. So, uh, one good way of doing that is just by using clay or clay tubes. Um, clay tubes with And let's get dynamic out so we can get small enough. Um, that's with the actual. And if we take this off, sometimes it creates a lot better edge. Um, and we're going to have standard for detail, or actually line style. <coughs> let's see this is RGB let's do it create the lines around this so this is a way of doing it by hand sometimes I prefer this method um, create Obviously, you got to smooth this out, and sometimes this this is enough. You know, from far away they look great, like this. put an edge around it to make them um, a lot sharper um, wrinkles on fingers tend they're not smooth 
they tend to have sharp edges uh, just look at your fingers and you'll see what I'm talking about and they have crisscrossing patterns also and come like that like that like that You know, this is with very soft strokes that you you know, you gotta be careful. Very soft touch. And I keep creating some more over here. Same thing like this over here. it up a little bit and they tend to turn around in this direction so that is one way of doing it the other one is with alphas that you take out of your own fingers and I've done that before and they work to a certain extent they work well I'm not gonna say they're my favorite way of doing it but if you're in a quick hurry and you need to put something together real quick they're a lifesaver frankly I'd rather do it this way it gives me more control right now I'm just putting ridges on each one of these lines so it, so it creates nice, nice hard edges on them. And there you go. There's one. Yeah, um, fingers tend to have a whole bunch of lines, even in this area, so and they, they become a lot less prominent. So, just a few lines like that will just do. It'll work just fine. And funny part is that right here with all this noise, it, it look almost like the it looks almost like the kind of pores that you would have on your fingers. So this actually is working in in their favor. I'm going to smooth them anyway, but just like that. Okay. So let's do, let's go to the standard for detail and we're going to change this and we're going to go into our light box and we're going to go to alphas and I'm going to my alphas and as you guys can tell I have a, se a set of um, knuckles that I took in the past from my own hand make alpha texture that off let's, let's, let's put them all in uh, make alpha and this one, I just took three. And make alpha. Okay, let's close this. Uh, I'm gonna texture take the texture off. And I'm gonna do this one right over here. And with the drag rect. Let's see how this is gonna work. And it's reversed, is it? Let me see, is it reversed? Uh, let me see what happens if I do it in a negative. No, that, that was the correct way. Okay, so what happens is there's too much intensity. Let's bring that down to 7. Start from the middle. So there's one. We can use another one. Which one do we have right now? I think that's the one. Let's use this one and see what happens. Now this one sometimes they're, they don't seem to be deep enough, so let's give it nine. See what happens. Mm, 
There's, there it is. Let's select another one. Let's select number one. Let's do this one right over here. And there's your other one. So there you go. This is the difference between the ones that are textured, they are alphas, or the one done by hand. And uh, you can tell the one done by hand is a little softer, but you can always sharpen that up. Uh, these ones, you know, carry all the noise that come with pores and stuff like that. I'd like to give them a little softening so they don't look as crazy. Okay, I'm going to bring down that intensity up to like 20. There you go. So those ones work well for a real quick job. Um, you got to be careful also when you're doing the drag rect on very thin meshes like fingers. And they will go through the other side. Now, while this can be easily solvable by just smoothing them out, sometimes the ridges, the, 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 it could be really deep marks and you won't be able to fix them. For that, you got to use under brush. Right over here, you're going to have an auto, auto masking, back face masking, and that will prevent that from happening. Okay? So, actually, let's do that right now. Uh, for these areas, I mean, the lines have already been created for you, so you can either use the line style brush that I was using already to create those lines, and you don't want to make them too deep. You really don't want to make this too deep. That's, that's exactly what I mean. You gotta make them light, and they are almost crisscrossed in nature. So there you go. See how they look through the side? They look. Let's start taking a little bit of a turn, just like that. One right over here, just like that. That's all you need. You don't need to go crazy on them. You don't need to go overly detail. That's all you need. It's just a little bit. Now oh, this is way too strong right now. Uh, too much texture on them. I'm just gonna do a few of them just to show you how this is, and you guys will get to do the rest yourselves. Again. like that. Right here on the ones where the fingers begin, they're noticeably crisscrossed. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we have enough geometry on it still. That's why I let me go to stroke. Uh, let me make sure that my lazy mouse, yeah, it's just way too many steps. Just a few steps. We'll be fine. Lazy mouse, like that. Let's see if that helps. Oh, yeah, much better. So let's erase that and let's lower the intensity. And that's much better. And sometimes they go up like that. Just again look at your fingers and see what they're doing. How all of those wrinkles network with each other. And there you have it. And that's all you need. 
Except for these top ones. These top knuckles right over here. Again, all you need is just that. Uh, top knuckles just literally usually have just like three cuts. Sharpen them up. No, oh, too much. I'm just gonna leave it like that. With the Damien standard, too strong. Let's cut that down. Too much. I'm just sharpening these edges. that and then with some clay tubes I can bump these little fleshy parts just like that give them a little bit more line style brush and that's it that's all it takes Maybe you want to put a little bit of clay. Whoa, not like that. No RGB. So like let's use clay tubes for that. Maybe this is better done at a lower resolution. But since we're right over here, sometimes they require a little bit of finesse on the sides. Just like that. like that. Uh, right here for these areas you can go into the standard for detail and let me see do they have it here? No. I'm going to have to get it from my collection of... this one's a real good one for this so just use that one. Let's get out of here and all you got to do is for the stroke Oh, in reverse. And that's too strong, obviously. Let's bring that down. That's all you need. They may be a little too big for that area. So I'm just going to reverse that. And you can do several strokes. That's it. That's all you need for the back ones. Uh, you gotta put lines on this one. These ones don't have as many pores. And that's it. For the nails, you can just go real quick right over here. Let's do a Damien stand. Let's tie this up, tighten them up a little bit. Regain some of that shape back that we lost to the Dynamish. Wow, that is just crazy what Dynamish did to it. Awful. I'm doing a real quick, dirty job right over here. I'm not pretending this is going to be nice, but. Like that. Like that. And I'm going to bring that up. That's intensity. And I'm going to sharpen this area. And that's it. So that's how you should do the fingers. Now the lines of the hands, same thing as what we did with this, you know, crisscross patterns. Um, there's a lot of fine lines on it. But, you know, unless you're going to get into a shot where they're going to go, where they're going to be front and center, you really don't need to get that crazy with the lines or with the, uh, you know, the fingerprints and all that stuff it's not necessary not necessary at all um, the pads on the fingers sometimes have s this kind of 
Let me show you what. This kind of pattern. It's up and down. Ooh, that's too, too strong. Uh, size is too big. We, we kind of have stuff like that going on, especially this big pads. But just take a look at them, and you'll see that you have them too. So make sure to put those ones down. And that's it, folks. I mean, that's the the feet are pretty much the same thing. Don't forget the lines right over here on the on the wrist. There's one right over here. Um, there's some in the back also that you need to take care of. Um, and veins are very easy to do uh, with. It, even that one is pretty good for that. Just that alpha. Let me see if, what alpha I can use for that. I think that's alpha zero one. I think that's pretty good for that. Um, is that a, li a larger and just actually it's you need to have that in C add and that's a little bit too small maybe a larger And obviously, you should be putting this on a different uh, layer. You don't want them all in the same one as everything else. And they should be subtle. That's probably too much strength. Usually, it's also better to put them at, at a lower level. To actually sculpt them with three, what you're a, a small. Um, you know, level two, level three. That uh, way, they're more, they're not so sharp because you you know, veins are not necessarily sharp. They're just kind of, you know, they go underneath your skin, so they should be somewhat soft. Yeah, they should create some relief, but you know, shouldn't be too strong. And that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, that's all there is to it. Again, the body has different textures and if you want to go for it go for it um, I don't require for you to do the entire body all the textures of the body uh, but I would suggest you do you know just for the practice of it and or later on if you want to add it to this to this character it will be great feet are the same as as the as the hands same pattern the whole thing anyway I hope this was useful for you guys and um, I'll see you guys on the next installment. Bye.